Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I am super excited about something happening this fall, and that is I'm going to trade in my 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, which is in Lunar Rock, a beautiful color, to the new 2022 Tundra TRD Pro. Now the exact timing of course isn't clear yet, but we know for sure Toyota is going to showcase something the week of September 19th to the public and perhaps the dealer network. So we're going to get to see the final spec and the final version of the Tundra and a variety of different trim levels sometime mid-September. But either way, I have already placed deposit with three dealers on a Tundra TRD Pro. So I will be one of the first person here in the West Coast to get an actual Tundra to take home. And guess what? I have huge plans and maybe even a crazy plan for the new Tundra. The reason why is that for my 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, I actually wanted to do a whole bunch of modding and in changing the exterior, uh, lifting it, putting larger tires, put a camper top in the back, so forth and so forth. But I was just so busy the last uh, 12 months or so, I never had a chance to go and do some crazy overlanding stuff on the Tacoma TRD Pro. And lo and behold, it's already time to upgrade to the Tundra. So I decided I might as well keep the Tacoma TRD Pro the way it is, don't make any changes, trade it in for a Tundra TRD Pro and then go all out and go all crazy with the Tundra in terms of modifications, in terms of making a fully capable overlander. So here is my vision of what the new Tundra might look like with all the capable goods and some really fascinating mods that I plan to do on the Tundra. I don't know exactly which mods I will be doing to the Tundra, but I think it could look something like this if I went fully on board with all the changes I want to make. That includes changing the bumpers out with a steel bumper with a winch in the front and back, uh, and also putting a full cage in the front as well to protect from a variety of different the conditions that the Tundra might go through and then putting all of the camp gear on top of the Tundra with the custom uh, roof rack, which we don't know exactly what kind of roof rack will be available for the new Tundra, but I'm sure that uh, many suppliers will end up providing some kind of a roof rack as an available option. So I'll take one of those or get it custom built. Uh, this one here I'm showing has roof rack going all the way to the front of the truck with an ARB V-series cap in the back of the truck. That will allow me to have a complete secure enclosure where I can throw all kinds of stuff in there. And right now on top of the truck, I've got dual awnings on the, on the roof rack so it can open both sides to give us some protection from the sun which becomes uh, the baseline for my fishing trips probably down the road. And of course there are things like uh, jerry cans and other goods and necessities for adventure driving and for camping and fishing. I will admit I've shamelessly borrowed a whole bunch of ideas from other projects in the past such as a Kevin Costner's Tundra project from 2018. Uh, but I've also thrown some of my ideas into the Tundra because I want this to be the most capable and perhaps the craziest truck I've ever owned. Uh, what else can I say? Well, it's got the 35 inch uh, Nito Grappler tires right now. I might of course go with the popular BF Goodrich KO2s, but those tires actually are not as comfortable on the highway. I still want to drive this thing on the highway and be able to take long drives. So I think the Nito Grapplers are a better choice from my perspective. And these tires are right now wrapped around the 18 inch method wheels which i really like it's all blacked out looks cool in this new tundra on the side of the truck there is the nfab side steps which should be good for uh, off-roading because it's nice and high off the ground uh, because i'm expecting to get at least 13 to 14 inch ground clearance once the truck is lifted properly and we got the 35 inch uh, tires all around now of course this is still just in my imagination until the truck arrives and i begin to modify it so there are many things that I haven't decided yet because I might keep on going further and add snorkel for example on the side or um, put some other uh, extra lightings on the top and so forth. Uh, so who knows how much I can modify the Tundra but I'm really hoping this is going to be my fun project where I get to modify the Tundra to my need and my desire and still make it look cool. I've got a bunch of work I still have to do to make this uh, image correct because right now the, the front steel bumper is blocking part of the uh, adaptive cruise control sensors and then there's some stuff in here that's not quite right. 
But for now, this is what I imagine my Tundra TRD Pro might look like once it has gone through a whole series of changes and a whole bunch of modifications designed to make this Tundra TRD Pro the most capable truck out there. So I'm really open for suggestions. I'm kind of new to the modification world in terms of truck. I've done lots of mods with cars uh, and sports cars, but still a little bit new to the truck world in terms of heavy duty changes and heavy duty modifications. And therefore I'm open for ideas and really want to get uh, some help from you guys. So please comment below what kind of a mods or changes I should make to the Tundra to make it fully capable so that I can take it far into mountain area where I can perhaps fish for some beautiful trout in the lake or maybe the ability to cross some rivers so I can get to remote places for fishing or for camping. Of course, I still have to wait for the Tundra TRD Pro to actually arrive here, which I'm hoping is end of this year or early next year and I can begin to think about uh, making this truck my personal adventure truck that's going to be a lot of fun to take out on the road. So thank you so much for watching and listening to my crazy ideas about what to do with the Tundra TRD Pro. When the Tundra TRD Pro finally arrives, hopefully I can walk with you this interesting journey toward making this Tundra an amazing, perhaps a bit crazy adventure truck. Thank you so much. We look forward to continuing this discussion when the truck arrives. Was this uh, Toyota truck? So I took a little bit deeper look at it, and uh, I ended up with the Tundra. And Toyota asked me if I'd be willing to talk about it, and I wasn't as inclined to talk about it as more maybe to show how it actually works in my life. It met a lot of uh, requirements that I had for myself personally. I needed it to work because I work. I didn't want it to just look tough. I needed it to be tough. It worked for me, but more importantly, it worked for my wife. So if you don't think that's important, you're not getting that either. <laughs> I have three kids, eight, nine, and 11. And, um, and the way we live our life is uh, in the outdoors for the most part. So everything designed on that truck was to carry a lot, to carry the fun stuff. So the toys are all inside, they're all on top. And my truck, my Toyota, it takes me right to the edge. And sometimes it takes me right in the middle. When we get to where we're going, that truck empties and we start to play. Bring on the storm, bring on the thunder. Blood is blood. Stand strong with your brother. Bring on the storm, bring on the thunder. Blood is blood. Stand strong with each other. I don't know how to sell a car but I, I know how to buy one. It doesn't fit. This one really fits me well. This truck goes everywhere I go. That's everywhere I am, period. <laughs> <laughs>